the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update for Sunday, November 21st, 2021, Season 4, Episode 3, A Holy War. So last uh, two weeks ago, that episode, the date should have been Sunday, November 7th. I misspoke uh, there. So just a quick correction. I'll be studying the infrastructure plan. Uh, It was just signed into law more closely to see what, if anything, uh, can be beneficial for our efforts in promoting sports investing and uh, the sports vote campaign and the new sports economy. Uh, The DraftKings deal failed. Uh, The Intain deal also failed because of a standing offer with MGM, so they left that out. Once again, lying to the public and the markets. Home prices, um, sellers are cutting their list prices. So again, this is a warning. Do not believe the hype about the market continuing to increase through next year. That's not going to be the case. You may see a few months of increase as the stimulus winds its way out of the system, and then it's going to come crashing down. It's already starting in the sand state, same thing that happened back in 2008. So I've seen this show before. Um, It's amusing to see DraftKings explain away the losses because the gamblers won more money than expected. Um, That doesn't apply to ASM. doesn't matter who wins and who loses. It's just commission-driven on the trading volume. And also, there's no loser required to make the system work and the company profitable because we don't take sides. We just need the trade volume. And as I've said before, getting a sportsbook into balance uh, so that it technically or actually officially makes money according to standard accounting principles is just about impossible. Keeping the book balanced, it's, it's, it's really just a cash flow game. And DraftKings just showed exactly what I've been saying, which is that the the book actually takes the other side in a lot of cases, and they lost $25 million. It shouldn't work like that. Uh, an operator that knows what they're doing is not going to have this. So... Um, Back on December 15, 2017, so we're, we're closing in on four years ago. Um, that was our CNBC piece with Joe Kernan. Uh, that was when Zach went to New York. Um, I guess uh, Bernie Nichols and uh, Commissioner Bettman forgot their own words. Uh, go back and look at that piece if you want to see what I'm talking about. And as far as anybody claiming that they're the world's first sports stock market, there's no way you're ever going to get away with that because... Uh, that morning show is almost without a doubt the largest financial show in the planet and world's first sports stock market was stated publicly there on top of the fact that we have the registered trademark. So no other model, past, present, or future, no other sports investment model is going to work. Um, it's been tried now many times. They're either games or they're gambling in disguise. The focus seems to be on player markets, and player markets have all failed. The most recent one, $50 million down the drain. Uh, Fantex, take a look. Uh, Every team-based model that has been tried, which is a very small number, has also failed, uh, except for us. And again, we're the category creator. There was no such thing as a sports stock market before we came up with the idea about 20 years ago. Uh, one of the models that's being tried out now is uh, looks like a legal work around uh, trading virtual shares that actually represent team pennants, you know, those things you put on the wall. Uh, that's pretty stupid. That's nothing but a toy and just an attempted work around for the law and to avoid gambling and regulation. Gambling builds nothing. Player markets build nothing. Sports trading toy games build nothing. ASM builds the new sports economy. So the Ford Eliminator, however you pronounce that, um, really took it's kind of a fascinating story they took a design out of the 70s and they put an electric motor in it they sold out the crate motor in days just a few days my only comment on this is all the way back to costa rica before trump and all the stuff we've seen in the last 15 years or so i said there was a real desire to go back uh to the good old days quote unquote if you remember the theming of the uh, Super Bowl commercial with Christina Aguilera and the uh, Back to Basics tour, actually, all of that, um, that is now showing to be the case. I mean, I, you're going to see a move towards these uh, pulling these old designs out of the, out of the dusty drawers and, and reviving them. I actually said we should theme ASM towards a 50s kind of style 
look, and uh, everybody thought it was silly and ridiculous. Uh, it's not silly and ridiculous. It's actually still not silly and ridiculous, but nobody wanted to hear about it. Um, okay, so the, I've been watching the price activity on the two sides of the ASM market, um, and the price activity is very healthy. Uh, I've been watching it much more closely in the last month or so than I have in a long time. And the price and the correlation between the price and the dividend reserves and all that is, is very healthy. And this is a market that's running off of bonus margin uh, for the most part. And, uh, of course, the learning market, which is just monopoly money, so to speak. But uh, the action is, is quite healthy. So just a quick comment there. So Bitcoin jumps up to 70000 and then comes crashing back down, uh, losing a whole bunch of value <clears throat> last week. China's right about it being a Ponzi scheme. Um, in fact, <clears throat> excuse me, the biggest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world. Um, I just, it's incredible to me to watch this thing roll on and on, um, in spite of the fact that the technical underpinnings are not there. Um, you know, nobody yet has challenged me to this date on my explanation that if you pull the plug, you lose everything. Um, you know, it's duping mom and pop out of, uh, their investment money or maybe worse yet, their rent or mortgage money. Um, China's got it right. We've got it wrong. Um, unfortunately, it's. I guess it's going to have to hit a brick wall somewhere in order for that to be shown true. It will be shown true. This is not sustainable, absolutely not sustainable. It's just a big scam. It's been rolling on about 10 years now because it's very profitable for people in positions of power. Uh, you know, it's making the wealth gap worse. It doesn't serve any useful function. But, you know, humanity has a long history of making these kinds of errors and then one day everybody will suddenly turn it's it turn around and say exactly the opposite that they were saying before the day before i've seen it more and more and more okay so deadline for a uh, complete transition out from me to alper uh is set at december 31st 2023 that's just over 2 years from now when i mean resolution of all open matters i mean everything that means uh all tax filings, regulatory filings completed, SEC matter disposed of, Leon matter reversed, clean slate. Um, I don't. Uh, several times he's um, wanted to take over the control sooner than this. Uh, I've actually had to talk him out of it because uh, I don't want him to take over this enterprise until it is completely clean. I don't want him to take the risks that he would have to take to do that. I don't think it's good. He's got a family with small children. I do not. I need to stay here in this role and just hold, basically hold things together until that transition is complete, and uh, which I can do. I can sustain for the next couple of years um, and then do it. And then it will be clean. He won't have to put his family, <clears throat> excuse me, he won't have to put his family at risk. And uh, that's how it should be. So I've got his agreement on that. So two more years before, or it could be sooner, but all of this, these uh, requirements have to be ticked off before that happens. Uh, Robin Hood was hacked. Uh, the full scope of that has not been revealed yet. But I mean, it's just this stuff goes on and on and on. Um, hyping crypto, crypto to the moon is sucking in more fools, wasting electric power and widening the wealth gap. I already said that. Uh, to act as if ASM is not operating in claim losses is a flat lie. We're clearly still here. Good luck with your delusions. They're going to make shipwreck of your life. You people know who you are. Um, reply brief filed against uh, Leon the Liar on Friday the 12th of November. Um, this is going to stay in the courts and whatever means necessary uh, until it's gone. So this is a war of attrition and you're not going to win it, bro. You're not going to win it. We're going to grind you down until you're gone. So just keep writing those checks to your lawyer. Looks like your buddy from college doesn't want to play no more because he's he's not involved and your your filings with the courts are pretty pretty thin. So I'm guessing that you're getting a little squeezed on budget. Just remember, every dollar that you spend, you're never going to get back. So keep going. Uh, DraftKings is falling like a stone every week. Look at the chart. Don't believe me. They're losing money faster every quarter, more of it faster. And it's funny to say them that say for them to say it's a growth market. Are you serious? People have known where to gamble for decades. 
Until the 1961 Wire Act is enforced, the offshore operators are going to beat the onshore operators. Look at the California cannabis business. The black market still vastly outstrips the legal one. Why? People don't want to pay taxes or give their name to the government. Not on these things. Same deal for reprobate gamblers. No matter how much lipstick you put on a pig, it's still a pig. Gambling is for losers. Gambling is for losers. Gambling is for losers. And in both cases, illegal markets have better prices and more experience. When money's your god, that's what counts. Oh, and buying a couple of private jets for more than $50 million, that's a good use of, uh, you know, that's a good use of investor money. So I guess they, they, they think they got to move around faster to go and, uh, and, and spend money and lose money faster because that's all that's happening. Okay, so if you are a betting operator or a, a, betting, opera- a betting operation promoter, okay, you are, uh, you are promoting addiction and loss. That's what you're doing. And it's funny how <laughs> these uh, DraftKings is now trying to hype their involvement in a uh, healthy, uh, you know, a problem gambling service. You know, like they're, they're going to try to play both sides of this. You know, you should step back and take a look at that. So why do you need such a thing? <laughs> it's like a cigarette company, you know, buying you an iron lung. So, you know, it's the same garbage and I just find it amusing that they're they're promoting their involvement in an addiction prevention service. Okie dokie. Uh, takes a lot to uh, swallow that. I, I mean, cognitive dissonance ought to give you a headache. Um, so, Krusty the Clown, um, Bannon was taken into uh, custody. Good. These liars need to be held to task on on what they've done. Otherwise... The entire legal system is going to be flushed down the toilet because uh, you can't have this. So hopefully there are still a few people left somewhere in positions of power that understand their oath, oath, O-A-T-H, they signed. Read, read, read what an oath is, okay? An oath is not a promise to a man. Okay, so do your own research on that. Look up what an oath is. Alex Jones, that's the other big, fat, lying scumbag, uh, also loses several court cases on his lies. It's very damaging lies regarding uh, some horrible uh, public events that everybody knows. China's warned state-owned enterprises to stop mining bitcoins. Um, So the pressure is going to be continuing to be applied. Um, They have a culture department that deals with what what the, you know, what basically what things should be allowed to exist. The Chinese know from thousands of years, they've been around a lot longer than we have, that you can't have drugs and gambling. So, uh, I, you know, they're on the right track here. So, a word of warning to those of you who continue to promulgate lies in the public domain against us. Our list grows every single day, sometimes by double digits. There's now almost 13,100 uh, my Twitter profile visitors uh, is up to about 1,500 every 30 days. Uh, my microphone is a lot bigger than yours, and I can light you up any time that I want. So don't put something in the public domain that's not true. I now have identified nearly all of you, and I can light you up any time I want. So I'm warning you again, knock off the lies. Knock off the lies. I have no tolerance for lies. None. Zero. Um Okay, DraftKings, yeah, spent $50 million on new jets. That's a good thing. Lots of insider selling and downgrades. Uh, suddenly the talking heads aren't so positive anymore. They're now talking about no possibility of uh, profitability by 2024. That's also bull- baloney. They're not ever going to be profitable ever for reasons I've already explained. Okay, so um, we have another – oh, uh, the I'm sorry. The uh, uh, Green Bay Packers are, are putting out – their uh, shares, non-shares again, uh, increasing the price to $300 a piece. Uh, that just proves our concept again. We said this the last time they did this, um, that, you know, this just shows that people will do this. And, but in their case, they can't even, you can't do anything with these. It's just wallpaper. So, um, and some folks that uh, seem to be active in the public domain and trying to harm their own interests forgot they bought this and publicly boasted about it, you know. I don't forget, and the internet doesn't forget. So uh, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. 
Instead of being a jerk or just plain lazy and working against your own interests, why don't you help us find or create the first sports or esports league to fund and get your return on investment and be a hero? Hmm, how's that for an idea? Hmm? Instead of shooting yourself in the foot. Because let me remind you, there's no, there's no payday for me in this. It's this there's no, there's no uh, bag, as they like to call it these days. I've, uh, that's, that's the colloquial expression for it now, I guess. There's no bag for me, okay? So if you want your bag, why don't you get your fingers out of your behind and do something positive, you know? If that's really so important to you, which apparently it is, you know, it's the most important thing in the world, then why don't you work toward your own interest instead of against it? So uh, I just got a new updated um, special effects reel from Ace on Patsy Lee, the movie that's literally been uh, been in process for like the last five years, was supposed to be finished a long time ago. <laughs> I told him this is uh, sort of the same, his Patsy Lee project, that side of things is essentially what happened with, with uh, ASM, we're once again 10 inches away from the uh, finish line, and then uh, some insiders which will be revealed. Everything that's in the dark comes out to the light eventually. Um, you know, decided it was taking too long and then uh, made shipwreck out of things. So, uh, but we kept going anyway, as you can clearly see by we're still here, in spite of some people trying to pretend like uh, we're not, which is, I suppose, like some people trying to pretend that Trump won the election in 2020. It's incredible to me how Oh, how senseless, I mean, ha how when somebody makes their mind up, facts be damned, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to be the fool, okay, you can play that game for a while, but the truth does out eventually, and you have to deal with it, so um, it's it's just, I'd never realized that the world is mostly like a bunch of third graders uh, in, a, in a playground, I mean, it hasn't really gone much further than that, you know. Just learn to be wrong. You know, sometimes you get things wrong and you have to turn around and, and, and say, look, that, was, uh, that wasn't right. That's what adults do. Children behave like this with the making up stories and, and pretending that things exist. They don't, don't like when you – if I don't see the monster, the monster do, can't see me. Put your head under the covers. You know, just – we're here, okay? And to pretend like we're not here is a lie, okay? And that makes you a liar, Liar. Okay, you know what happens to liars? They burn in the lake of fire. Okay? I wouldn't take that chance if I were you. Okay, so and finally, this is a holy war. Okay, in every sense of the term, this is a holy war against gambling and corruption, and I make no apology for it. Alper will take over no later than December 31st of 2023, so that's a little over two years from now, and there is a working plan in the background that's been going for some time. And what I did is I just fixed an end date on it that is an absolute drop-dead date. It's got to happen by then. Um, I'm going to spend all my time uh, after, you know, during some part of it during the transition and then full on after the transition on the resources that will be parked on HollywoodSportsBible.com. HollywoodSportsBible.com if you're interested. So that's where I'll post any information. Always see the show notes for updated resources and links. And if you want to support this battle against corruption and gambling and promote healthy sports investing in the new sports economy, then please contribute via the Cash App address in the show notes. 140% of your contribution, that's 10% of the amount times 14, a uh, multiplier of times 14 through matching programs goes to educational materials in the U.S. You'll also receive special bonuses by forwarding your receipt to help at allsportsmarket.com. So thank you for your support. I know the times we are in, and I understand the struggles, and any uh, help that you can provide would be appreciated because as it stands right now, I'm still paying for this out of pocket, and so is a handful of other people um, because we don't take any money into the market, and uh, and we haven't for some time, and we have no active programs either. So um, this is much like the time in, uh, after 2009, about 2009 when everybody ran for the hills and nobody wanted to help. That's pretty much what's going on. So if it wasn't for my personal participation and the participation of a very small number of other people, you'd have nothing here. It would already be dead. So rather than being a jerk and uh, sitting on your hands or, or worse yet, I, I, can stand that, I can stand that aspect. That's kind of understandable. But to throw stones, yeah, that's – and then pretend to hide your hand like you didn't do it, like I don't know any better. You really don't have any idea how intelligent I am and the team here. 
that's you're 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 outgunned as far as your tactics. So I know everything that goes on. I know everybody who logs in. You know, I'm I have an omnivision of this project and everything that's connected to it. You're not getting away with anything. So have a great weekend, and I will speak with you again in about two weeks.